Hi, I'm Renee. I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. In this episode, I'm working on the kitchen, the food pantry, and a linen closet. This is part three of a four-part series. Part four will be a very, very, very cluttered basement. You can watch part one and two here. So I started in the kitchen. I emptied and cleaned every drawer first to be able to see what was in each and every drawer. So basically, I'm assessing the situation and then I sort and categorize and then I get rid of any clutter or unused items and then I reorganize. The daughter was there to help to decide which items to keep and which items to donate. There was duplicates of many kitchen items. After each section is complete, I will show before and after pictures. There were two sets of silverware containers, and I moved the silverware closer to the dishwasher so when they emptied the dishwasher, they did not have to walk across the room. The second set was moved to the same drawer. I also had to figure out how this white container went back together after I took it apart to wash it. This family reached out to me to help their 85-year-old parents who had a very serious health scare. They were both in the hospital for three weeks at the same time and then in a nursing home for four weeks. The goal before they came home from the nursing home was to have their home safe and organized and clean for them. In the drawers, I sorted like items with like items. Did you notice the aluminum foil box had saran wrap in it? On to the pantry. This pantry was packed with duplicate and triplicate items. The family wanted all of the duplicate items boxed up so they could store it in the garage. The pan set that I'm boxing up is one of three or four sets that were in the food pantry that looked like they were new. They were on the floor and hanging from the racks.
I pulled out all of the food and checked for expiration dates. The oldest food that was expired was from 2014. The daughter helped me in the pantry as I handed her items from the top shelf behind the door. She also let me know what should stay in the pantry as it related to the pans and a lot of the tablecloths. The majority of the tablecloths didn't fit their current kitchen table. I am wearing my handy dandy magnifying glasses. I'll put a link in the description below. They work great when you can't see the expiration dates. I realized I didn't clean the round turntables, so I had to take everything off and start over again. Do you see all of the hooks on the racks? These are actually shower curtain hooks she used to create more space. The items that were hanging on the shower hooks were relocated to the utensil drawers. Please feel free to hit the like button because it lets me know how useful this video is to you and if I should create more content like this. I'm lucky enough to help these families. When you watch this video to the end, you're helping more families to declutter and organize their homes.
After the kitchen was done, I moved on to the linen closet. The daughter was there once again to help decide what was keep and what was donate. I am so glad I could help this family. This family was kind enough to donate any organizational supplies that were extra that I could use on future homes. This pile of trash bags is from the linen closet to go to donation. And this pile of trash bags is from the pantry in the kitchen. The boxes will go to the garage. Thank you so much for watching. My next video is ready for you to watch and I'll see you there.